Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, November 7th, National Hug a Bear Day. I'm Fareed Zaki, and welcome to WCTZ News. Today's episode of WCTZ News is sponsored by Ella Marie Holm. The senior class will be holding an online fundraiser at Texas Roadhouse. The beachside location this week. Please scan the QR code on screen to purchase bread, butter, and gift cards, which will be ready for pickup on November 15th through the 17th in time for your Thanksgiving dinner. Seniors, there will be an early bird special for buying your senior ads for the yearbook. When this special is over, prices will increase. Please be sure to buy your ad before November 11th. Embry Riddle Aeronautical University will be in the media center during sixth period on Thursday. Please get a permission slip from the media center and approval from your sixth period teacher 210. Future problem solvers are pre-selling Krispy Kreme original glazed donuts for $13 a dozen. Sales will be open until Friday, November 10th, cash and check accepted. You will, you will pick up your freshly made donuts after school on Thursday, November 16th in room 4205. If you can't find an FPS student to place your order, you can go to Chloe Rad's room anytime during power hour. Now to a fun fact for French Heritage Week. Tacey is a French music artist who combined his Cameroonian background with the R&B genre. He was nominated for an MTV Europe Award in 2020. His most popular song is Ne Ponce Plou. Thank you. Now to Pranav with a story on the career fair. Sheriff Wayne Ivy and his dog made a special appearance at the school on October 20, but no one was in trouble. He was one of 53 speakers who presented at West Shore's first ever career day in over a decade. However, this new experience wasn't without its challenges. We had a few problems that were out of our control. Guest speakers that canceled at the last minute um, and a big traffic jam on I-95, but those aren't really things that you can plan for. But after these initial hiccups, the day unfolded smoothly, turning into a day to be remembered. Candy. I like the candy. It's the best part. We had a lot of kids, a lot of participation. Uh, the last group figured, uh, figured out our, uh, our candy for question system and really exploited that. We got asked like 100 questions in the last sessions. I really enjoyed hearing their questions and, and I was actually impressed at the level of knowledge that some of them brought to the table. I got some questions that I really didn't expect. It was a huge success. So yeah, so the speakers had lots of great things to say about their day and they were super excited. We also did student surveys and um, the kids learned some really interesting things and it was fun to look at their takeaway messages and see what they thought was important. It's a good learning experience for um, careers that you might have been looking into and it helped me discover that I might not have been personally interested in something. That presentation was pretty funny and likable. Um, it was pretty interesting overall. It was really good. He gave us candy. Definitely made me want to be a pilot. It was showing up. I didn't know what to expect. But uh, now that I've done it, I thought it was a really good experience for me and I hope it was for the students as well. This is Pranav Panusami reporting. Thank you, Pranav. Today's episode of WCTD News is also sponsored by Little Dos Me Mexican Cantina. The Multicultural Club will be having a meeting for all chapters on Thursday in Chloe Rad's room to discuss and share ideas. All grades are welcome. National Junior Honor Society is currently conducting its membership drive. It's open to all 7th, 8th, and 9th graders who have a 3.5 GPA. Please pick up an application in Sean Regan's room, Portable 3. All applications are due by Friday, November 17th. All students in due enrollment who did not use priority registration will be choosing classes on Tuesday, November 14th during an elective or due enrollment period. To find out which period you are scheduled for, please see Ms. Felbush in the Media Center. Any student who fails to register during the open registration period will not be part of the due enrollment program and will have to be placed into West Shore classes instead. Please see Angela Felbush if you have any questions. Thank you for tuning in to today's edition of WCTZ News, sponsored by Ella Marie Home and Little Dos Mexican Cantina. I'm Fareed Zaki and have a wonderful day, Wildcats. Well,